Hello, thanks for dropping in. I am going to look at some things that I found. Yes, at the world of Commodore. And I'm suspecting there will be the odd thing that might be rescuable, but probably not much. Hello. So. The diagnostics. Oh, they are a running. They are. So here we have a circuit board. That's the two five zero four zero seven. Ta da! It is of course missing the video chip, the PLA chip, and the SID chip. But does it work otherwise? That is the question. Well, the answer is, I don't know. I'm going to put this here. There's a dubious stack here going on. And, of course, we come upon another one. It's a 250425. And everything of significance is socketed, but also removed. <coughs> this indicates to me there's a good chance that there's something else wrong. Unless somebody just wanted to score the chips. But I can't imagine somebody who had a working 64 would do exactly this. But then again, one never knows. I'm going to set this here, and I'm basically going to keep stacking things here until you hear a crash which point things will probably hit my foot. And that's not good. And here we have a 251137. Oh my, we've got every, well, not every variation, but many variations. And in this one, the SID chip is missing. It's the only chip to be socketed in this board besides the video chip. And of course, to run the test on it, we don't really need the SID chip. We do not. So, we might as well give it a go. I'm going to take this out and unplug the video. Oh, oh, that is stiff. Oh, I'll just set this down on top of everything else. Waiting for the crash. Don't really need this in. Now, this SID chip that is in here is not, it's kind of okay, but it isn't. It's not. So, I will take it out. And, of course, the machine that it should be in is now under the pile of Commodore 64s. So, oops, flip the power switch when you're dicking around with it. So, you know what, while I'm here, I better put the SID chip that should be in here back in here. I should. <gasps> Nobody saw. Nobody saw. And in it goes. So, I will set this here. I forget that we are on the air. Maybe that will sit there nicely. Maybe it won't. Anyway, I'm going to grab this board. After I have looked it over, it doesn't look like anything's been terribly poached from it. I will plug in my Commodore 128, essentially 128 power supply. And I will apply power. Out of memory or in zero. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Let's see what happens. Oops. 
when we put in the diagnostic cartridge. Aha! Okay, so it already will not run. It has stopped, and it says that U9 and U11 are bad. Let's hit the reset. See if that makes any difference. I'll hold the reset longer. It does not. Well, okay, we'll hold the reset longer. We'll go to the dead test. See if that, oh, okay, we have flashing things. And generally on the dead test, that means RAM troubles. So, we do indeed have RAM troubles. I will push the reset. And I will flip. Oh yeah, to another. Cool. Okay, so, we're going to hold the reset, switch both buttons, and end up back where we were. Now, switch this one. Oh, that was weird. Oh, okay. So, it does indeed seem... All right, let's try that again. It doesn't seem, indeed, seem that there are RAM issues, to be sure. I'm going to turn it right off. I'm going to wait a moment. I'm going to turn it back on. Yep, that's what I was doing before. So, uh, glasses. So, according to this, I will unplug this. And this would be a reason that many people would give up. And I'm certainly not going to do anything dramatic on it now. But, that would mean that according to this, that these two chips, U9 and U11, are indeed defective. Now, if I had, and I should have, things around here. It's been a while since I've been up here. Which is a shame. What is this? I should have something here so that I can document. But I don't see it. I just don't see it. So, I guess I can't. This is unfortunate. Because chances are... I will forget. Well, you know what? I'm going to put this here. Ah. Uh, no, 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 no. No falling allowed. And see. What's what? Now this. This other board. There's nothing to do right now to plug in. To do anything with. I'll look at it. <coughs> and say, oh yeah. Yeah, lots of sockets. Now, it's funny. Both, both the uh, the cartridge and the cassette port look remarkably wonderful. Anyway, I'm not going to do a big transplant at this moment, but maybe at some point I'll see about populating that. Now this one, this one is intriguing. Now, once again, you got to watch out to make sure you have the right chip in the right socket because the PLA and the SID chip switch positions on some of these. I'm just looking. Okay, this is not one of them. It is not. 
So, what is this one? No documentation. Excellent. Well, <clears throat> I know that this one should be working, so I will delicately and carefully take this PLA chip out with great care. It is being difficult, but you know, if you were sitting in one place for 40 years, you two might not be too crazy about moving. All right, PLA chip. Da -da 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 I think I'll set this down. And this one. Oh, wait a second. No, I have not tested this video chip. And I don't have another one handy, so I will indeed spring the one from here. Assuming I can get this off. These things, the shielding things, at times can be challenging. There is a little slot here which might be aided by a screwdriver. Oh, Penny. Hello, Penny. Come here, Penny. Penny, don't go away. Oh, Penny. It's funny, because two of the people I was talking to at the World of Commodore were asking about Penny. Penny. That. Oh my word. This is really tight. I don't know if I've ever had quite this difficulty. Oh! Look at that. It's off. Okay. Gently, with great care, put that down. Okay. So. I will. Oh, yeah, that's kind of nice. Very gently. Take that out of there. Checking the witness mark. I will put it in. This is the PLA chip which should be U17, which it says on the board. And I will put it in. And, well, who knows? Maybe that's all that's wrong. Maybe. So, I have the monitor plugged in. I'm going to put the power in. And I'm going to turn it on. See what happens. I do not have a SID chip in. You do not need a SID chip. You test a machine. All right, so we have a black screen. You tip oh, and I smell something. All right, let's try that again. I hear something. All right, something. Something is clicking. And something is smelling. I thought the clicking I might have heard was something to do with my chair, but it is not. So, I'm going to take this chip out, take this chip out,
And assuming this is... Oh. Yeah, no, that's not anything. Alright, I don't see anything that looks scorched. But certainly here there looks like there's a cold solder joint. Where is that? That's hard to tell where that is. Could be just inside the RF modulator. Well, I'm assuming whatever happened to this before. This happened before. Alright, I hear that funny noise. I'm awaiting Jesus! The arrival of smoke. Okay, so, I bet you this is hot. Oh! Note to self, don't do that. Ow. Where was that? What was that? Alright. Hold on here. This is a 250407. This is a 250407. Well, at least I didn't break a nail. Alright, so that thing that just flew off the board I'm not even sure it was I mean, it's the same board here, but you know, sometimes they use different looking things. Um What is it? It was right here, right around here, that it flew away. Oh, I wish I'd been doing a close up on that. I just, I didn't even know where to look. My word. I'm just trying to compare the boards. So it is a something. It looks kind of like an FB12 thing, but it's not. But boy, man, that was hot. That was not wise. Huh. That is strange. Something just got so hot that it flew off the board, and yet, I don't see anything missing. Oh, wait, was it from in here? I don't know. This is peculiar. I do hope I have not fried the chips I had to put in. I do hope. Okay. Oh, man. It couldn't have come out of there. At least I don't think so. Once again, things that have been in place for 40 years 
I have a tendency to want to stay put. Let me have a look here. Nope. So now, oh, it looks like, you know, it looks like the thing, is it still, it's not so hot. It's actually split in half, or a leg has come off of it. So there should be, at somewhere, there should be evidence of a half of a that. There should be. Unless it flew across the board. Mm hmm. This is peculiar. Very peculiar indeed. I can't even see anything on. Oh, wait a second. I can't see anything on this other board that looks the same as what that is. I mean, there's littler ones. I bet you suddenly it's just going to pop out at me and say, oh, look, that's what it is. <coughs> but so far, that is not the case. Well, I'm certainly going to unplug this and try to get a good look at this that should be something obvious. Because half of the thing is gone. Oh dear, there goes the power cable. And half of it is there. Well, I think what I should do eventually is I should call Rudy and say, Rudy, what do you make of this? Because I don't see anything that looks like the other half of this. And I think it was right around here. This is very peculiar. I wonder... Could there be something? No, there's nothing on the bottom. Oh, no end of mysteries. No end of mysteries. This is very strange. Well, I'm certainly not going to plug that in again. I suppose what I will do, and hope that I have not done any harm, is I will put the video chip back into this machine. That was working. With great care and reverence. And I'm going to put the PLA chip back in this machine. It was working. And I will take this thing. Oh, 
Well, which way did this thing go? Does it matter? I suppose it does. There are things that can be adjusted. All right, I'll put this back on. So it's there. And I'll put this back on. So it's there. I don't want to get in trouble with the FCC. Sorry, microphone. And I'll set this over here. These are the three boards from the world of Commodore. Now, of course, we'll find out. Assuming I can find. There it is. A power cable again, if I have done harm to this and these chips. And it seems that I have not. Well, that's a good sign. I'll turn that on. See what we get. Haha. Uh -huh. Actually, you know what I want? I don't want the dead test. I want the diagnostic. But that notice that is not the one I want either. I want this diagnostic. No, I don't. Do I want this one? No, I don't. Okay. Do I want this one? Or is that the dead test? Now what's going on? All right. Shut it down. Turn it on. But that is set one. See, there was another. Oh. Maybe it is the other. Maybe that's the other dead test thing. Is it coming up? Ooh. That's funky. Okay, yeah, that's the other dead test. Okay, that's what I was after. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, that was weird. Very, very strange. The, this little Weasley thing would go pop and fly and be hot. So hot that I have burned. Very strange. Very strange indeed. Well, um, so what do I know? Um, there's probably a good reason that those circuit boards were abandoned. There are, on that board, ROM chips that are in sockets. I haven't checked them. I suppose I should, but maybe not now. Right now, I just want to hear the sound check on this, make sure everything is looking okay, and then I shall ponder. Anyway, if you're not sure, what I'm using today is the Retro Rewind 64 Diag 4-in-1 Diag Cartridge. It has a number on here, R-64-41 Diag. Yep. And indeed, I did buy it at the World of Commodore. So it does seem that this in chip is okay. So I need to get some paper so I can make some notes. 
and uh, yeah, that's what I need to do. So the beat goes on. Maybe, maybe next time I'll grab a fifteen forty one that came from the world of Commodore, where I wasn't going to get anything, and see what's going on with it. Maybe. But, for the moment, I think that's enough. I think I need to call Rudy and say, Rudy, what is this thing? That's very strange. Very strange indeed. Anyway, thanks for being here. At least, we didn't have flame. We didn't have smoke. But something done blowed up. Things happen. They do. So, until we meet again, thank you. Thank you very much for coming. And, uh, yeah, it's always a pleasure. Bye for now. In all my years, I've never heard a diagnostic test do that. Never, ever, 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 ever. But I guess it must be good, because I can tell better what's what. Thank you. Bye for now.